Hi, my name's Jack. I'm going to show you how to manage email addresses and inboxes in MailSlip. MailSlip is a platform that lets you create email addresses and phone numbers and control them from code, tests, or using a visual dashboard. So if we want to create an inbox, a new email address, uh, we can log into the application and uh, create one there. We go to app.mailslip.com, log into our account, and uh, we can see a dashboard. If we want to create a new email address, we can go to inboxes and we can click this green button here, create inbox. Now we're looking at the inbox creation screen and we have a few options. We can use a randomized address and um, MailSlip will just assign a random email address to the inbox for you. Um, or you can use a custom address. Um, so if we click create inbox, uh, we can see we now have a new mailbox that can receive emails. And the email address is here, found here. There's currently no emails in the inbox, so we can test the email receiving by opening up a mail client. Now, if we open up Outlook and send a new email to the inbox, we can say, hello, this is a test, and here is my email, and send that. Now, if we come back to the UI and refresh the page, here's the email. So we can open up the email. We can see the contents we sent. We can see um, across a range of clients um, and uh, platforms, the features that are supported within the email we just sent. Uh, we can also look at a spam rating. Um, if we go to the HTML validation, uh, we can check that the HTML is valid. Um, we can also inspect headers. Uh, we can also uh, preview the email on different size devices. So here we can see an iPad. Um, we might want to try it on a iPhone 15 Pro. So that way we can test the responsiveness of the email. And we can see that there are no attachments. Uh, let's send an email instead, so from our inbox. So we can click the Compose button. We can choose a subject, hello from mail slip. And then we want to send it to our Outlook. So for that, we'll use this test address. Say, hello, this is my reply. And let's send that. Great, OK, so we can see the sent result. Now if we go back to Outlook and we refresh our inbox, we should see the new email. OK, the email has arrived. And if we open it up, we can see it's sent from our test inbox that we created. Uh, next, we'll look at how to um, set up programmatic access to the inbox and how to create uh, automations. The home page, um, we can see our latest email. And uh, if we go back to our inboxes and go to our test inbox we created, let's talk about some of the automation, automation options available. We can create email forwarding rules. So this will mean we can match certain inbound recipients or senders, and we can, we can redirect it to new inboxes. We can also create replies. So these are automatic replies. We can have rules about whether email should be blocked or stored based on who's sending the email. And we can set up webhooks. Um, now, webhooks allow us to receive emails in other platforms. So whenever an email is uh, received, uh, we can have it sent to our server. And then uh, a payload such as this uh, shown here will be sent to your server, and you can use that to fetch the email, the full contents of the email. Um, but there are other ways to control your inbox as well, and I'll show that next. So if we go back to the home page and uh, we click on API access, uh, we can see an API key here. I can reset it afterwards using regenerate API key. So it's telling me how to set up in MailSlip with Node. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can create an inbox uh, using JavaScript and we can send and receive email from that inbox. So we can select um, the language we want to integrate with. Uh, you could call this API um, from uh, any HTTP client. Uh, if we open up the documentation, uh, we can go to docs.mailsip.com. Um, we can see the different APIs available. Um, so here is the REST API documentation. And if we go to packages, we can see uh, packages for common uh, programming languages. So in this example, we're going to um, set up uh, JavaScript, uh, and we're going to uh, control our inbox that we created. A editor, uh, and we run pn install save dev mailslurp client. Okay. And in this example, we might write a test where we send an email uh, to the inbox and we wait for the email to be returned to us. So we'll go through that now. What we're going to do is create a index.js. And now back in the dashboard, we'll just take that and put that there. OK, so we've installed the client. OK, and there's our API key. 
and we can see it's creating an inbox. And now let's simply log what happened in the, what the email address of that inbox is. So we can say new email address equals and then we plus that like that. So how we can run this is we should have a self-executing function and we'll just go like that, okay? And do this and then go and exit the process. Okay, great. Now we should be able to just run this. So if we go node index. okay, it's outside of a module. So it often gets me in JavaScript. To use the ESM import, we've got to use a .js, okay? Okay, let's try that again. Right, okay, so as you can see in my uh, console here, running the script has created a new email address and uh, printed it to the console for me. So to go over those steps, what we did was we went to the home page of the application and we clicked on API access. We selected the client we wanted and then we copied the code provided. Okay, so to do more with it, um, we would go to the documentation um, website. And uh, we can find um, guides for lots of common use cases, how to wait for emails, extract codes and things like that. Let's try a little bit more for now. So let's also say create, send an email from the inbox. Okay, and then so now we can say mouselurp dot um, uh, inbox controller dot send email, send email, okay. Uh, and confirm. Yeah, that sounds good. So we pass in the inbox ID and okay, oh, we need to do it like this. Okay, inbox ID, inbox ID, and then the send option. So we want to send an email to, we'll send it to, we'll create a second email address like that. Okay, so we've got two inboxes, email addresses. So email address one and email address two. Okay, oops. Okay, so now we want to create, send it. So send email from inbox, inbox one to inbox two. So in, in a real situation, you would be uh, sending emails to customers or to uh, automation systems. Um, in this example, we're just going to use two inboxes that we create here and uh, just to test how to send and receive. So for the first or the two, we're going to send to the inbox two. Uh, email address. So the two property takes um, an array of email addresses. We're going to say hello. Uh, hit, then we can get the sent email. Okay. So after that, we'll say uh, we'll log it out. Sent email. Great. Now we want to wait for the email. So how do we receive the email? So email is an asynchronous technology. So when an email is sent, is you don't really know when it will be received. So that's why MailSerp has some functions uh, known as wait for functions. And uh, if we use the wait controller, we can wait for the latest email to arrive in an inbox. So what does the latest email mean? That means first email that is not read in the, in the email address. So there are many other wait options. If you click the methods, you can see there's documentation in the packages. But the simplest one is waiting for the latest email. So you can say in the inbox two, if it's unread, wait for up to 1200 milliseconds. So wait up to 1200 milliseconds for an unread email. And if you find one, just return it immediately. Okay, so that's that's the email. And now we we probably want to say that we're waiting, waiting for email. Okay. And once we've received it, let's just log out what the subject was. Received email, email, we can get the body. Okay, great. Okay, so let's try running that. We'll make this a bit bigger again. Let's run it in our terminal. Okay, sending the email, sent email, waiting for email, received the email. Okay, brilliant. Although we can see that the body, ah, the body's empty. That's because we haven't added a body. So let's do that. We can send HTML as well. So we can say uh, h1, you know, use some tags. We can use images, things like that. Hi there. Okay, we're going to send that off. And we can say uh, is HTML true. Okay, and now we should see a better body. So let's make this bigger, run that again. Okay, we can see it's sent the email. Uh, it's waiting for the new email and it's printed out the results there. So that's how we can control an uh, inbox in code. So you can do this in um, a lot of different scenarios. Um, so if you go to the docs page, you can see in the examples area, there's integrations with Selenium, uh, all, all the major programming languages, uh, examples, uh, things like that. So these examples are, are hosted on GitHub uh, under MailSlurp examples. And you can look through here and find um, projects that are similar to your to your needs, um, and you can look in the code and copy some of these uh, 
test ideas if, if you like. Um, as always, you can find more documentation on docs.mouseserve.com and um, reach out to support if you are having any trouble. Thanks a lot.